Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech, and Microsoft had their Windows 8 event today. And basically, in this video, I'm going to summarize a little bit of what they've talked about in that event and tell you guys whether or not I'm going to be picking up Windows 8 when it gets released. So during this Windows 8 event, they really talked about upgrading your Windows systems, the Windows App Store, and Windows RT. And I'm going to go over those each a little bit. And they talked about the Windows upgrade. You can upgrade from Windows 7 to for $39.99 to Windows 8 Pro. And Windows 8 is actually going to be going on sale tonight at midnight at 12.01 a.m. I'm really not sure why they're waiting until midnight to release it, even though they're talked about today. I figured it'd get released later today. Um, but for what I saw, it's going to get released tonight at midnight. And so if you want to pick it up, you can pick it up then. And if you have um, certain machines that you've bought since June to January, you can actually go to Microsoft's site and you can be eligible for even a cheaper upgrade that's around $15. But for people who have had Windows 7 devices for a longer time, like I've had mine since the beginning of summer, you're gonna have to only pay $39 to get the upgrade. And so Windows 8 has actually been out for a while in the consumer preview and consumer builds. And you, I actually tried it out on my laptop and I thought it worked fairly well. Um, my laptop doesn't have a lot of nice specs, so things are a little bit shaky. I mean, it didn't really lag, but it just, didn't perform well because my laptop in general just doesn't perform well anymore. But I, I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was too radical of a change. I think modern UI is definitely different from what we're used to seeing, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. And I think Windows 8 is a, a step in the right direction for Microsoft because Windows 8 really is going to bring together Windows Phone 8 as well. And it's gonna to bring together the whole experience of having the desktop or laptop, the tablet and the phone. Apple does the same exact kind of thing, basically. Uh, they don't really have Mac OS on their phones. They have iOS, but it's all linked together and it's all one system and one ecosystem and everything works together well. I think Microsoft's heading that direction with Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8. And I think all their tablets and their phones and their laptops are gonna work together very well. So like I said, Windows 8 has kind of been around for a while. So people know what it's like. And basically the modern UI, like I said, and some of the other updates are gonna be performance updates that are gonna be taking away how much memory the system uses. It's going to cut down on boot time. Battery life is going to be better. And so if you want to read more about the updates to Windows 8, you can search it on the internet. Um, there's all kinds of sites listing the changes in Windows 8. I want to go over them here uh, because it's going to just take too long to actually go over every single update. Um, but one of the other things they really hit on was the Windows Store, which is going to be available in Windows 8 and other Windows devices that are going to be running either Windows 8 or Windows RT. And so it's kind of like the Mac App Store where you can download apps for your computer. Basically, you can download all these apps for your Windows device now. And there's a lot of apps on there already. Not all apps are gonna be there, but it's going. they said they're gonna be adding hundreds of apps a day. And so that's a nice rate. And so if your favorite app's not gonna be there, chances are it's gonna be there a couple of days down the road or weeks. It's gonna get there eventually. Um, it is a new store, and so it's not gonna have everything. So um, you don't expect to see everything, but like they said, they're gonna be updating apps frequently. So something else I briefly mentioned was Windows RT. And Windows RT is what's gonna be on the Surface. And it's kind of like the tablet version of Windows 8. And it's very, it's basically everything what Windows 8 is, but it's a little bit different. Um, you can only run apps that are available in the Windows Store. You can't really run apps that you can on Windows 7. Like I couldn't put uh, Photoshop or Premiere on there unless they release apps from the Windows Store somewhere down the road. But you can only put stuff on there that's in the Windows Store. So you're gonna have a very stable device, a device that's gonna be uh, working well down the future, and you're not gonna be able to uh, bring anything that's foreign in. Uh, it's kind of good and a bad thing because you're not gonna be bringing anything bad that you shouldn't be having on there. It's gonna hurt the device. And it's also uh, kind of a bad thing because there might be some things you wanna have on there. That you're just not gonna be able to uh, with the restrictions of the Windows Store. So besides Windows 8 and Windows RT and the Windows Store, they showed off a bunch of different Windows 8 devices and devices that are running Windows 8. They showed off a bunch of Ultrabooks, which look really nice. Ultrabooks that also have a touch screen. And so those look really nice. I really want to get one of those sometime in the future. They also showed off the Surface a little bit, but I'm going to make a separate video talking about the Surface because they had their own separate event for the Surface and they covered a lot of stuff there. But they showed off desktops. They showed off traditional desktops that don't have touch screens that work with Windows 8. They showed off how trackpads will work with Windows 8. If you don't have a touch screen, your trackpad can, can be used for multi-touch and your different gestures. And so I think Windows 8 is going to do very well on many different platforms, on many different devices. And I don't think it's going to be bad if you don't have a touch screen. Um, if you just have a mouse and keyboard like I do, I still think it's going to be okay. You're not going to be able to get the full experience, but I still think you're going to be able to use it well and use it to most of its potential. Now, personally, me, I do plan to upgrade to Windows 8 uh, whenever that will come, supposedly at 12 a.m. tonight, but I'm going to be downloading it, upgrading it on here. 
Um, I'm curious to see though, I didn't see anywhere, really haven't seen anything of how Windows 8 performs on multiple monitors. So you know modern UI, it works well on one monitor, you know, you swipe back and forth and it just flies across the screen. Well, I have two monitors, and so I'm just kind of wondering, does is modern UI gonna fly across both monitors or is one gonna be black while you're in modern UI and the other one blank? Or other one have modern UI when one's black? I'm just kind of curious to see how it's gonna work and see how Windows 8 works with um, dual monitors or even triple monitors. I know you can do multitasking, you can have desktop open on part of your screen and then an app open on another part of your screen, which is really nice. Uh, but I just want to see just how overall it works with uh, multiple monitors. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. Curious to see how it works. Um, like I said, I am going to be upgrading to it. It's going to cost me $39. So I figured why not? Uh, I'm one of those people that like to adopt things early and try them out. Even when others say, you know, you shouldn't update as soon as it comes out. There's all kinds of problems. You know, I'm just one of those people that like trying things out. And so I think Windows 8 is going to do very well. Uh, I think it's going to take a while for people to get used to it. Um, some people. And I think it might take a while before it really gets starting to roll, but I think it's going to do very well in the marketplace. I think the phones are going to do well, Windows 8 phones. I think the tablets are going to do well. Surface is going to do very well, in my opinion. And I just think the overall experience is going to be great. So if you guys are planning to upgrade to Windows 8, let me know in the comments below. I'll put a link to the Microsoft website where you can buy the Windows 8 upgrade. I've been trying, I've been refreshing it, and still it says, you know, come back later. But I'll put that link in the description below. It should go live tonight at midnight on Eastern Coast. You should be able to buy Windows 8 and upgrade. So that's going to be it for this recap video. Basically, it was just Windows 8, the Windows Store, and Windows RT. And so make sure you stay tuned for my Windows Surface video. It's going to be covering what they talked about in their separate Windows Surface event. And so thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you stay subscribed to T-Game Tech for more tech and game related videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.